Hello, my name's Matthew Turner. I'm a registered architect and I have my own practice called Enduring Domain Architecture. So during these times of lockdown, it's probably no better time to experiment with facial hair. So anybody who knows me um, knows that this is uh, not my usual look, but in these times of the pandemic, life's too short, who really cares? I used to care about what I looked like, that you needed to have some kind of professional look, professional persona that somehow you looked a certain way would give the impression that you were better at your job, better at doing what you do. Um, I think it makes no difference whatsoever, of course. Um, I could design a house right now. Tomorrow I could have a shave, put on a shirt. Am I any better at what I did today? Um, no. So um, I thought as well as not having to worry about looking looking a certain way and, and looking perfect all the time, it goes the same for things like starting YouTube. I mean, I've got no idea what I'm doing. This is the first time I've ever done it. Um, I've thought about, you know, maybe this is something I could do one day, but, um, uh, you know, during these times, we're all looking at, at, at doing things that um, maybe we've got an opportunity to do now or we're motivated to do now that we weren't before so you know there are some good things to come out of it but also feel like um you know life's short time is running out to really start to do the things that we think are important in our life um my um passion my my aim my ethos my raison d'etre has, has always been about um, creating a better built environment for us to all to live and work in, uh, better in terms of uh, thermal performance, comfort, joy, whether that's physical or psychological, um, reducing the amount of energy that we're unnecessarily spending in our buildings or in our homes in order to, to stay comfortable. I think we can do things a lot better. And we've known that we can do things a lot better for a long time. I mean, I started studying architecture 23 years ago, and that's when I started to become aware of and interested in a different way of doing things. And that's been really slow to catch on. I've always felt like I've been operating in a little bit of isolation to, to my peers, doing things differently, and, and now running my own business for six years, seven years, um, yeah, I really feel like I am um, still in, in quite a niche within a niche, even though sustainability, eco this and eco that and all this sort of um, green, green talk is becoming uh, more well known. Um, I still think a lot of people, designers, builders don't really understand what it means to do something at a much better level. Um, and to, to really want to do that and to be as uncompromising about that as is possible when you are actually working for a client who has their own brief. Um, they want to put their own thumbprint on things, of course. It's their, it's their home, it's their building, it's their money. So that's a real, a real skill. When somebody comes to you, they want an energy-efficient building, but they have their own list of criteria and the way that, that they've imagined their house to be as well. So to create a balance of all of those things um, combined with building regs, planning requirements, budget, buildability, um, you know, desirable energy performance and all these things is, is the real challenge. And that's part of the reason why you employ someone like myself who um, gives a crap about all this stuff and who's going to put um, a lot of their time into trying to do all of this well, you know, as if it was my own home. So, you know, I ask a lot of questions. I question a lot of things. Why do you want this? You know, do you think that's going to make a positive impact on, on your, um, your experience? in your home to, to do this. And I'll always posit alternatives based on my experience and my knowledge. 
So there's definitely a lot of things to consider. Um, no building is ever going to be perfect, but you know, I can do a pretty, pretty good job um, with what I've got. And I think it's really important in, in this day and age to do more with less. I think we have to question the size of our homes, you know, what our aspirations are. Is wanting a big home going to make us happier? Is it going to make us comfortable? Um, are we going to be able to financially sustain financially building a bigger home, perhaps taking out a bigger mortgage, and then also the increased running costs, the heating and the cooling required. Even if your home is designed to seven or eight stars, the bigger it is, the more energy it's still going to be using. It's just less megajoules per square meter, which is what the star rating is based upon. But your total energy expenditure and energy cost over the course of the year is still going to be more the bigger the home that it is. In addition to that financial cost of heating and cooling and running your home and, and the maintenance cost is the environmental footprint. So the bigger the home, the more materials were used in the first place to build your home. Secondly, the ongoing operating costs for the life of that building. And hopefully, you know, you were building a home which is going to be there for a long time um, is going to be more over the course of that lifetime as well. A bigger energy guzzling home uh, just requires more, more energy, more greenhouse gas emissions, especially just powering your home off, off the grid, gas and electricity. And that's something that, that we know that we can't sustain. So in addition to uh, producing our own power, so that's going to be solar panels on your roof and maybe some batteries to go with that. Definitely you should be doing that, but that's also not an excuse to build a bigger home just because you're offsetting your power needs with, with renewables because chances are you're still going to be drawing more from the grid than what you really need to be doing if your house is, it is designed in a lot more energy efficient manner and is also a bit smaller. I mean, honestly, there's no reason why we can't be living in a homes where you've got 30 square meters per person. I think the average is up to something like 50 or 60, you know, by now compared to, to 20 years ago. The houses are just getting bigger and the average number of occupants is also decreasing at the same time. So we just don't need houses that big. I mean, you can only be in one room at a time in your house, right? You might as well make that a nice room to be in rather than just sh sheer size. So if, you're, if your home is well planned, we're minimizing the amount of passageways. Maybe your living areas have got more light, they're north facing, maybe a bit of a taller ceiling. That's going to be a nicer space to be in without it needing to be huge. Like a bedroom, how big does a bedroom need to be? That's not where you're spending most of your time. Most of the time you're going to be in there, it's going to be in the dark anyway. So enough room to comfortably move around a double, queen size, even king size bed with a bedside bedside table, um, a well-planned, well-positioned um, built-in robe so that you can access the doors and everything comfortably. Um, generally houses are bigger because of poor design, but it doesn't need to be that way. Um, that's just a brief introduction to what I'm about, what we do at Enduring Domain Architecture. There's a whole lot of stuff to talk about, which I'm really looking forward to talking more in depth about um, particular particular areas of, of sustainable energy efficient design. Um, hopefully I'm gonna get better at, you know, some of the visual stuff with putting together these videos. I've got no idea what I'm doing at the moment, but as I said at the start, life's too short to wait until you're an expert at something. And I am notoriously guilty at doing that because I've got so much that I want to get out there that's just been in my head for years and thinking, oh, I've got to become an expert at like getting the right camera, learning new software, putting together something professional before I put it out there to give the right impression. I can't wait. Like life is too short. I've got a lot of work on my desk, working for clients as well as wanting to put out information out there freely available to the world youtube on my website or, or whatever 
So I'm just going to do it like when I hit play in this video right now, it was just to do a test to see what a video would look like that I'm recording on my smartphone. And I just thought, mm, I'm just going to keep going and make this my first upload to YouTube. So there it is. Ask me any questions. I'm going to be more than happy to ask, answer questions about sustainability in the built environment, um, green design, eco design, whatever you want to call it, but also architectural practice. You know, are you a graduate looking to get into your first job or whatever? I'm getting resumes sent to me all the time. Obviously it's a tough time to be, to be looking for a job, but you know, I'm always more than happy to give a bit of time to, to give advice to, to new graduates people looking to get into, into this um, particular specialization of architectural building design. Um, I'm not in it to, to make money. I left a perfectly good full-time job to start my own business because I wanted to specialize in, in this, in something which I really believe in. And, you know, I'm not going to like compromise myself too much just to take on work, whatever work I can get. I'm going to put myself out there as somebody who, who gives a damn about producing better buildings for, for people. You know, everybody deserves a better quality of building. And if you've got a limited budget, I've still got a solution for you. You know, we can we can definitely do something which is going to be better than just going to a stock standard volume home builder with their, you know, in-house drafting service or whatever. Certainly that that has a place, but that's not what I want to want to do. So let's see how this goes. And um, yeah, hopefully you will get some, some more interesting content out there soon.